What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we'll be covering how to create proxies inside of Premiere Pro. Because we all know you love to shoot in that crispy 4K, 6K, or 8K footage. And when it comes to editing, your laptop may slow down a little bit to play with these raw files or whatever it is. So we create proxies to make the edit fun and easy. Well, not necessarily easy, but fun and enjoyable to create a cool cut to show our friends and family. Or in this case, clients work, I don't know, something, whatever. Anyways, let's get started. So, when you have Premiere Pro open, there's a couple of different ways to do this. There's a way to do it when you start a new project, and there's a way to do it when you ingest new footage. But to cover our basics, we're gonna do a new project first. So, I'm gonna find File, New, Project, and this dialog box pops open. Now, when you name your project, you browse where it needs to go, stuff like that. Um, you go to your ingest settings and on your ingest settings is where you can create the typical auto proxy thing where you bring files in and it just makes proxies for you which is kind of nice so you could just tick the little ingest box you could do a couple of different options here which are actually really helpful but in this case we're gonna create proxies and then there's a preset right here now this is where you can choose the level of proxy that your computer can handle and feel free to play around with what proxies work best on your machine it's different for everybody unless you're on the same machine i guess i don't know maybe after that once you've selected your preset you can go to your proxy destination you can choose a different location you can yeah it's, it's pretty self-explanatory i think from here okay so let's say we didn't set up our original proxy settings where we ingest footage and we drag in new footage and we want to create proxies from that so I'm going to drag in this 8K red footage I have here, drag it into here to my project bin, opens up the files, and as we can see there's a couple of files in here now that we can kind of goof around with. Now if I create a new sequence from clip, let's just pick this thing, right click new sequence from clip, um, playing back at let's say half resolution, it's probably not going to play back too smooth. It may play back smoothly at a quarter resolution on my machine, but when I start layering things, putting a lot more files in there. That's gonna be a lot for this machine to go through, so creating proxies is not a bad idea. Inside of your project bin, we can create a few proxies that are really simple. So let's highlight all of our footage, and we're gonna right click and then hit proxy, and create proxies. Now this is where we choose our preset once again, H.264 for me, or QuickTime for if you're on a MacBook or something like that, and then choose your preset. 1536 by 790, I'm totally cool with that. And then I'll do destination next to original media in my proxy in a proxy folder, which is gonna be right where the original videos are sourced from. There's gonna be a new folder called proxy. Um, click OK. And once that happens, Adobe Media Encoder automatically opens up and is now rendering um, the proxy footage, which is going fairly quickly, which is nice if you have a bunch of different files. Um, now, if you do your in original ingest settings from the very beginning from opening from opening a new project, it will automatically do this in the background or open up Media Encoder, either one. All right, seems that all of our proxy files have been created. Now, let's drag in this footage here. Let's drag in this piece of footage. Let's drag in this piece of footage. And drag in one more piece of footage. Cool. So we have to have this, uh, I guess, 8K sequence. Let's go to my sequence settings to see what it is. It is 8192 by 4320. That is one big old sequence. Um, and we are currently still using our original files. There are nowhere to be seen inside of Premiere Pro. So how do we actually... Wow, that is extremely overblown. Crazy. Um, anyways, how do we turn our proxies on and off inside of our footage so we can edit really quickly and easily. So what we'll do is in your program window inside of Premiere Pro on the far right you see this little plus button. It's called the button editor. Now this is a use this is a very useful tool to add in different buttons, but in this case we're going to be adding in the proxy button. So click on the little plus button and then you're going to do the toggle proxies. So drag this into your little button thing right here. Click okay. Now by toggling proxies, it toggles our proxies. If you turn the proxies on, it plays back at full. No problem at all, because it is our other footage. Now, the footage that I downloaded here is all different formats, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, because this formatting is off. If you filmed all one project, all at the same resolution, stuff like that, no big deal. But 
That is how you create proxies inside of Premiere Pro through the ingest settings and also inside of your program window if you didn't do it in the ingest settings. I suggest doing it through the ingest settings if you know you're going to be using a proxy in the very beginning. And that was it. That is how you create proxies inside of Premiere Pro. I hope this made your workflow better and overall just makes you a better editor because at the end of the day, this is what we love to do and we're going to keep on doing it. As always, I'm Max. Feel free to like this video and don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. All in all, we're a big team here on the edit train or whatever you want to call it. It's growing. It's kind of cool. So jump on board. No big deal. If I didn't cover anything that you would like me to cover, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get on it. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.